Hello everyone, welcome back to day two of Bridgestone World Solar Challenge TV. I'm Mark Soderstrom. And day one yesterday, well what a day it was. Teams got off the line really nicely and made some great progress down the Stewart Highway. Our leaders, well from the Netherlands, new on seven. From Germany, the Powercore Sun Cruiser car and Aussie entrant, Aurora Evolution. Well, they're all out in front of their respective classes. Well, by the end of yesterday's drive, the teams were getting ready to make the Outback their home for the next few days. And the reality of roadside camping, that was starting to set in too. And here's Tracy Kotsia who caught up with our current race leaders. The pink line in the road marks the spot where the Nuon Solar team ended their journey today. They had a fantastic day, travelling further than any other team. Let's take a look at what happens though when the wheels stop turning. Well, as you can see, the solar array is now lifted up and that's because uh, the sun is uh, getting down and more down and we would like to get more energy. So we have to lift it to get the sun perpendicular to the solar array. And in that way you harvest as much as possible energy. Next to the solar array you see the concentrator modules. That's our secret weapon. Well, now it's not secret anymore, but it was our secret weapon and it uh, works very well. On the normal solar array, we use less than six square meters of silicon cells. So that allows us to use, or less than six square meters of course, of uh, gallium arsenide cells. And these are inside the concentrated modules. And concentrated modules is a system of uh, lenses which concentrates the sunlight so that you will get a lot of yeah, solar radiation inside it. And therefore you can harvest very much energy. Of course, efficient energy collection and storage is key to this event. But perhaps the extent to which Nguyen ensure they maximize this is the reason for their success. Yeah, for us, uh, solar energy is very important, of course, and uh, you won't lose any seconds of harvesting process. So that's why it's so strict and every piece of shadow is, of course, less income. So yeah, it's a real protocol and every person knows what he is doing. Yeah, in that way, uh, we will uh, keep the energy income as high as possible. That can be the difference. I mean, imagine that uh, you lose one second at every control stop and you lose of the Japanese <laughs> by 10 seconds. I mean, you, you wouldn't be very happy in the end. So I think you, yeah, you want to use every second for racing and not for waiting or spending it otherwise. We will keep doing this until the sun is set. And after that, uh, yeah, we are uh, evaluating the day. Uh, what can we do better? Uh, are there any improve, improvements to make to the car? And we also will have a nice dinner, of course, and go camping for the first time in the Outback. So Nuon's adventure is underway and their innovative take on solar harvesting has put them in a great position. But they're aware that there's still a very long road to travel. So we can't get too far ahead of, uh, of this situation. I mean, uh, we're very happy that we finished here first and that we traveled the longest distance of the complete World Solar Challenge. Uh, but who knows what happens tomorrow? I mean, we've got to keep improving. There were some things today that can go one second faster than they did. So that's what we got to keep on doing until we've reached the finish first. Well, let's take a look at the weather forecast now. And no change, but boy, it's going to be tough out on the road with temperatures expected to nudge 40 degrees Celsius. And those conditions are already starting to take their toll. Some news just in. New Zealand entrant from the University of Waikato. The car's called Ultra Commuter. Unfortunately, they've had to withdraw already with a burnt out motor. But for the cars up the front, well, they're going really nicely and they've already reached the control stop at Elliott. We'll be back with another update later on this evening. In the meantime, you can track the progress of your favourite entrance on the Bridgestone World Solar Challenge website. Thanks for joining us. See you later on tonight.